Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to the Learning Freedom channel. Be free to learn. Our subject area in this video is Information and Communication Technology, ICT. This video is the third of a series of five videos consecrated to a review of a fifth virtual mock organized by G. But in this video, you are going to review the questions number four and five of the essay test. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the red button below and hit the notification bell so that you are informed of any new video that you bring out. If you have not watched the first and the second videos of this series of five videos, kindly check the description below for the links to the other videos. Like the video by giving us a thumb up and share it with your friends. Okay, now let's look at question number four. A. We have a scenario here. Ali and his family have three computers in their home. He wants to connect the computers to a network which will have access to the internet. Now let's look at the first question, which is give two advantages of Ali's intention. The intention is to have access to the internet. So we are looking at two advantages of Ali's intention, which is advantages of access to the internet. The first point, with the internet you have access to an endless supply of knowledge and information and that will allow you to learn about almost any topic you want. If you take Google for instance as a search engine, it will allow you to connect to several websites where you can learn anything you want. YouTube will also make available to you a lot of video tutorial to learn any topic of your choice. The second point we have is an easy way to connect and communicate with people around the world via email. You send email to somebody that is anywhere around the world, the person will receive it with the internet. You have online messages services like facebook chat whatsapp and so on you have voip that is voice over internet protocol that is the service that allows you to make calls using whatsapp or co then you have video conferencing where you are chatting with somebody live looking at the person's face so these are examples of advantages that you have from using the internet but let's move on with the examples you have easy access to bank accounts to make transactions that is online banking and then you can buy products from the comfort of your home that is online shopping you can list and sell goods online that is e-commerce and then by then you make profit you can advertise products and services online you can work from home and submit your work online you have an endless supply of entertainment with access to watch videos to watch movies to listen to music and then to play games online and then you can save files on remote computers via the cloud computing and that will allow you to even travel anywhere you want without carrying your hard disk or carrying your devices that on which you save your information yes you, the only thing you need is internet access let's move on with the next question that is give two disadvantages of alice intention so now the drawbacks of using the internet you have exposition to pornographic and violent images for people that are underage we have addition to programs like games that may lead to distractions and time wasting so instead of going to learn you may be there playing games online or you may be there wasting your time watching some programs online you have identity theft and misrepresentation so you have a lot of people especially on facebook that are not the real person they claim they are so identity theft usually they pick people's pictures or profile pictures from facebook and then they create their own account and then they say i'm so so and so which is not true so identity theft you have vulnerability to unlawful intrusion into one's computer or you can be there because you have internet access if your security level is not high somebody that is having a higher security level can just hack into your computer without even your knowledge and then get 
uh, rid of your vital information you have spreading of malicious software that is virus that is the main thing that the internet can help do so that is a negative thing and then you have spreading of unwanted advertising messages that you normally call spams so these are few disadvantages of the use of the internet let's move on to the next question which is number four b outline the steps you use to draw in paint application just a quick remember before we continue how do you open paint application the first thing you do is to click on the start button to open the start menu then you point to all programs you locate and you click on accessories and the last one you locate and you click on microsoft paint now the steps that you use to draw in paint so first you open ms paint you locate and click on the pencil tool you move the cursor to the drawing area you press and hold the primary left button of the mouse and then you move the mouse to draw when you finish drawing you release the button of the mouse so this is how we draw in paint if you open ms paint you have this window a similar one so you locate and you click on the pencil tool this is the pencil tool and you click on it then this is the drawing area this is the drawing area you press the left button of the mouse down and then you make any moves you want to make i just want to draw something like this so if you want to draw this is how you draw when you finish you just release the mouse button if you don't want to draw a free form object you can just select a shape you select a shape and then you drag the same way you did it for the free form drawing and when you finish you release the mouse you can even color anything you want you click on the fill with color you choose a color then you click inside the object this is how you draw in paint let's look at the next question which is 4 c i stay to uses of ict for social purposes we have pa systems that is made up of microphone amplifiers and loudspeakers pa stands for public address public address they are used to convey information to a large audience they are mostly used for maybe marriage ceremonies church services or funerals so that everybody that is present can hear whatever the speaker is saying you have radio and television that are used for public education for announcement and for entertainment you have telephones and mobile phones that are used for communicating with family and friends mobile phones especially have a lot of social media platforms like whatsapp facebook instagram and co that people are using for social purposes to communicate with each other let's move to the next question which is 4c I, I says give two ways schools can safeguard their ICT tools. So two ways schools can keep their ICT tools safe. Covering ICT tools after use. At the first point, the second point is using uninterruptible power supply, that is UPS, to keep ICT tools safe in the event of power failure or power fluctuations. Next point will be to keep computer laboratory and other rooms where ICT tools are located well ventilated and conditioned if possible and to install and constantly update antiviruses and this one is very important scan all removable devices before use and keeping passwords strong to avoid easy unwanted intrusion and this is the end of the question number four if you are new here kindly subscribe to this channel and let's move to the next question question number five a complete each sentence below using 
one item from you have bluetooth you have internet you have a router you have a one and then you have a wlan the first point is is a network connecting several lands that is a uh, one one stands for wide area network LAN stands for local area network so several local area networks make up a wide area network the ii is dash is a network with very little cabling that is wlan or wireless lan so wireless local area network so because of the wireless they use mostly wireless means of connecting computers instead of using cabling the next one dash can allow network computers to connect to the internet that is a router a router is just like a modem that we use for our normal pieces so it has advanced functionalities so that is a router the last one dash is used to connect two mobile devices to each other that is common that is bluetooth so that is the end of 5a let's now move to 5b the question is list three things to consider when composing an email message first thing you have to use a meaningful subject go straight to the point don't just be beating around the bush make your message personal you are the one writing to somebody so let the person feel that you are writing to him never write in capital letters which is them shouting never write everything you are writing in capital letters refer to the previous message when you are replying to a message so that the person knows that what you are writing is linked with some earlier message read the email before you send it so that you can correct petty mistakes use short and simple sentences and always include the recipient email address for new messages if you are replying the recipient address will already be there but if it's a new message make sure you put the recipient address there because without that your message will not be sent 5c is of two parts i is what is a personal computer a personal computer or pc also known as microcomputer is a general purpose and cost effective type of computer that is equipped with a single microprocessor chip and designed to be used by an individual at work at school or at home so that is a personal computer when you classify computers by size the least one is microcomputer so that is what the question is talking about so microcomputers we have three types we have the desktop computers you have the notebook computers and then we have the handheld computers next question and the last one is cii briefly explain the following types of mice the first one is what is a mechanical mouse it is a type of mouse that comes with a rubber or metal under it how does it work when the ball is thrown in any direction sensors inside the mouse detect this motion or movement and move the on-screen mouse pointer in the same direction mechanical mice are always wired for a mechanical mouse you don't have the wireless type so they are always wired this is a picture of the mechanical mouse at the left side you have the upside and then the right side you have the downside you can see that there is a small ball where the red circle is inside the next question is briefly explain what an optical mouse is an optical mouse is a computer mouse that uses a light source it can be a light emitting diode or a laser an optical sensor and a digital signal processor you use it to track the movements 
of the mouse optical mice can be either wired or wireless and the following is the picture of an optical mouse the left side you have the upside and then the downside at the right side of the screen the next one is what is a wireless mouse a wireless mouse also known as cordless mouse is a type of mouse that connects to the computer without the use of wires usually a usb receiver is plugged into the computer and communicates with the mouse wirelessly through bluetooth radio frequency or infrared radio wave you also have here a picture of a wireless mouse and this brings us to the end of this essay part of our mock exams thank you all for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel the button is just below the video just click on it to subscribe make sure you click on the notification bell so that any new video that you make you are the first to be notified like the video and share it with your friends so that it can help them too and the last point comment below so that we know what you think of the video if you have any question just put it in the comment box there and we make sure that we reply as soon as possible and if you have any suggestion or any views just don't hesitate to comment and once again thank you for watching